type of entrepreneur who has successfully navigated the challenges of today's in environment. It, he is the testament or the perfect embodiment of everything we've spoken about earlier. And you'll begin to understand why. A certified nutritionist, wellness coach, and life coach, Rafi recently opened up a new location of his business, Composition ID, in Orlando, and works with a wide variety of people interested in improving their health and their wellness through nutrition and exercise. From a regular person trying to make their New Year's resolution stick to pro athletes in the NBA, WNBA, NHL, and MLS. Rafi has adopted most, if not all, of his entrepreneurship qualities to help your business succeed. I'm happy to have him on as my guest because he's a performance expert. He's a mentor in many ways and a coach to many that have used his services. And what I want to talk to you guys about is the qualities to help you become the type of entrepreneur you dream about becoming and more importantly, the qualities that you need in our current environment today. Rafi, welcome to the show. Good to be back again, Dawood. First thing I want to talk about is, I think, one of the most important qualities in entrepreneurship in today's market has to be agility. What's your thoughts on being agile today versus a year ago, two years ago, or a few years ago? Isn't it one of the most important qualities that you would think with regards to entrepreneurship? It absolutely is. Uh, whenever we start a business or are involved in a business, we can guarantee one thing, and that is the unexpected is going to happen. And when the unexpected happens, we can react in one of two ways. We can completely fall apart because we're sticking to a script that is rigid, or we can be flexible and adapt and find a way to overcome the unexpected. I'll give you a quick example of something that's happened in my line of work where I've had to adapt. So in the DC area where I have my another location of my business, uh, when I work with the pro teams, uh, I have a mobile unit, a van that has testing, body composition testing equipment on it. And one day I went out to a pro team location and the van broke down. They had an electrical issue. And so now I have 10 to 15 pro athletes lined up and my bread and butter testing unit has broken down. Now, I could have reacted in one of two ways. I could have said, I'm sorry, guys, the van's not working. Let's reschedule for a future date and lost out on that revenue and all, probably also a little bit of credibility. What I did was I immediately called a friend of mine who owns a transportation business. Mm -hmm. He had a large bus out to their location within an hour. I bust them all to my office where I performed the tests on them in my office where I have same equipment and then back to their training center. So you need to be agile, you need to think on your feet in order to succeed. Otherwise, those unexpected occurrences will really break you down. I think the beautiful aspect of being agile in our market right now is that if you do have a passion for becoming an entrepreneur, in today's world, more so than any time before, you can literally match two interests together such as what you have done, which is you've always been someone who loves to work out, has stayed in incredible shape, and wants to help or serve people, and now have combined both interests, purposes, and passions together to create the business that you're in as well, too. How did that come about? Well, you know, I've been a person who's been into fitness and nutrition for many, many years. And not just because of what they do in terms of your physical look, for example, which is probably the least important part. It's how being um, in good physical shape can really overlap into other parts of your life. And so many benefits that we don't think of, for example, focus, energy, motivation, strength, all of these things are a byproduct of being, of following it's a basic nutritional plan and exercise. And I, because I've experienced all these benefits myself, I'm really passionate about having other people experience that. 
Because one of the things we do, I think, as human beings is we adapt to the situation we're in. We're kind of set in our ways. And we don't realize that by changing these ways, positive things can happen. And that's where the passion comes in. And I, I want to touch on two things that tie both uh, concepts or principles together, which is in, with the platforms that are available today, through your purpose, through your passion, in whatever business that you want, and as long as you're agile, giving this example of social media, you can become the authority, the influencer, the go-to person in that specific niche market. Let's assume that you like to bake, or I don't know, you're a tequila aficionado. You can create a whole channel on all of that and offer products and services around that, or health for that matter, or any business for that matter. And today, you have access to people all over the world. It's one of the easiest platforms in order to reach thousands, if not millions of people, and become the authority in that area. That, in essence, brings me to my next point. What's your superpower? What's that kryptonite that that either propels you into an area where no one can come and touch you, you become the expert. And I hate to say this, you don't even need to have a God-given talent other than what you're naturally good at. It could be a character, you could be charismatic, you could have a specific personality type that people are drawn to. And as a result of that, you can you start to see a lot of people, for example, on social media, and I use that because Everybody is on some kind of platform connecting with friends or an influencer, whether it's a podcast or, you know, it's somebody selling um, remote control cars or, you know, uh, promoting a Fashion Nova if you're one of the, the, you know, Instagram influencer models out there or whatever the case may be. There's, there's definitely a fit for everybody out there that can, can uh, connect with their audience. Speak to us on superpowers and what that looks like for today's entrepreneur. Well, I think recognizing your, as we, you know, as we're referring to them as superpowers, requires two things. It requires self honesty and humility. None of us are good at everything, but all of us are good at some things, and that's the superpower things that we're good at. I think it's really important to recognize what your strengths are and utilize them as much as possible. And on the flip side, the kryptonite is your weaknesses. Correct. Right? A lot of times there's a tendency, because we're very good at certain things, we start thinking we're very good at everything. Correct. And we start giving opinion and advice and guidance on things we're not qualified for and that we don't know much about because we have this false confidence because of our superpowers. So the humility comes in here. Recognize what your strengths are and use them. And then recognize what your weaknesses are and either learn to turn those weaknesses into a strength or draw on other people in your team or outside your team who may have these strengths already and you can collaborate with them. That plays into another very important area, which is curiosity. You may have been curious to discover a new area of entrepreneurship you wanted to get involved with or a new business or a new hobby. And once again, Today, at our fingertips, no pun intended, you have access to an unlimited, boundless amount of information where those who have been successful before you have dropped the golden nuggets along the way to literally create that Hansel and Gretel trail for your own success. And you know what? You don't necessarily have to recreate the wheel. In many ways, you don't have to do anything new. You could pretty much align yourself very much so with who you authentically are, be humble about it, like you said, and present many of the same podcasts, products, services, because just like you like to watch the news on a specific channel, people want to hear that information coming from you. There's people who like to watch my real estate content and others that prefer someone else's. It's who and how people relate to you. And I believe, and I've said this many times before, be curious. Learn more about what you want to create, what you're passionate about, because today, more so than ever before, we live in a relational economy. The currency is relationships, and those relationships can get you closer and closer to your success. 
In your area of business, how has curiosity catapulted your business as it, as we're seeing you grow today? Well, you know, just like there's always been an emphasis on IQ, and we all know what IQ is, I think equally important is IC, which is intellectual curiosity. My personal motto, which has helped me with my business, is to learn something new every day. And that, along with that, means don't let things, don't say things or hear things that you don't actually know what they mean. And so when you are intellectually curious and you want to learn something new every day, you will read up on stuff. It's, if you hear something you don't know about, you'll, you'll, you might Google it and find out what it means. So learning something new every day opens up a world of opportunity that you may not have been aware of. I think more so than that, as well as learning something new, you need to surround yourself with people who are more specialized than you are in a specific area. Don't be the authority on all things. You don't need to be the jack of all trades or the master of none. Surround yourself with a strong team. Create a healthy company culture. I think when you foster those great relationships, naturally your business will succeed. And I think there's nothing more beautiful than growing with a team that you love, with, with relationships you can foster, and watch everyone grow together. I've seen you and your team grow, and you've grown nationally in more than one location as well, too. What made you choose Orlando? I originally moved to the Northeast from Orlando many, many years ago. And so it was a natural progression for me to return to the city where I originally lived in order to open a business because of contacts I have in town, because of family. Uh, and so also Florida is... Um, it's a state where fitness and health is something that's very, uh, it's, it's a priority for many people. We have a growing senior citizen population that wants to live, you know, the, the uh, latter years of their life in a healthy and productive way. So I just saw it as both a place to return home, so to speak, and as a really a huge market. You know, as compared to the past, you, in a cutthroat business environment where you, you you were told to take your emotions out it was all about the, the 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 mighty dollar the narrative has changed you hear words like uh, uh, being authentic being humble um, being true to yourself and sharing that with the world and a word that comes up quite often is integrity how has integrity changed the face of entrepreneurship today well, we all remember the movie, The Wolf of Wall Street. Of course you do. Know, many years ago. So that kind of attitude was prevalent at the time. The bottom line was making money. Do what you have to do. Say what you have to say. Step on whoever you need to step on just to make money. And that didn't work. Well, it worked in terms of it made people money, but there's no real sense of happiness and fulfillment when it comes to operating in that way. And integrity comes in where you need to be a man of your word. Say what you mean and mean what you say, and people will pick up on that, and they will choose you over somebody who they feel is in it just for the bottom line, the buck. To tie this all in, I think what we really need to do is we need to be optimistic and realize we're not stuck in where we are. If you are, fall back on what your passions are, what you're good at, and if you don't know, ask a friend. They are the first to tell you what you can excel in in your life and start to explore what those areas would look like as a new avenue for you to try out that new business that you wanted. Start that entrepreneurial endeavor. And of course, if you want to connect with me or have a real estate question, you can always visit my website at realsensenow.com. Rafi, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here after the break because I have lots of questions for you. If you have a question, call in or text 321-339-1055. Catch you after the break.